This is Marvin, Marvin Bloom, and this is your moment with Marvin. Very, very concerned. I'm concerned about you, and 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 a lot of people who are gay. There's a terrible thing going on right now in the gay world. It is so dangerous. People don't understand. They just don't understand what danger they're in. It's not Proposition Eight, you know. That's bad. That was bad, you know, when they passed that bad. And there's like a lot of other ballot measures and things that they they've been against us. You know, it's not focused on the family. No, there's an internal evil in our midst that we need to address. And, uh, you know, people, 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 we need to be real about this, okay? Here's the problem. People are using the word queer. Okay, now, we used to be gay, well, then gay, lesbian, then gay, lesbian, bisexual, then gay, lesbian, bisexual, transgender, and then, you know, they keep adding things to it. Uh, and then so somebody got into the head, well, why don't we just be queer, you know, because we're all so different or something. Okay, what a lot of people don't know, because you may be too young to realize this, hello, queer is a bad word, all right? Queer is what they use to, like, beat up on us. When I was a kid, all right, in the playground, you know, um, queer was the word that they used, you know, to say, like, we were, like, weird, we were bad, we were, like, horrible, all right? It's very traumatic for me to hear the word queer, and it's very inappropriate. When you use that word, you're, like, buying into all of the oppression for centuries. Now, I recognize, you know, that younger people don't have the same history with the word as I do. Okay, you know, I was a kid, like, what, 40 years ago. And, you know, okay, granted, I understand that. But, you know, these are people who don't know the history, okay? You know, this is a bad word. And, you know, I have heard people say yes, but, you know, bad words get, you know, reclaimed. You know, it's a way of showing power. You know, like, for instance, um, like Quaker. You know, not the oatmeal. You know, but they're like people. They're Quakers. I don't know if you've met them. They, like, they actually don't do much. They just sit around and, you know, they don't say nothing. But early on, like in the 1600s, you know, they were a little more active. And they would get all excited in their church and they would, like, quake. Like, I don't, I don't know how they did it. Anyway, people watching thought, oh, my gosh, look at those crazy people. They're Quakers. They're quaking. And it was like a bad word. Well, you know, through the years, I don't know how it happened. Now it's a good word. You know, you say they're a Quaker, like, oh, they, you know, they do good things in the world. I don't know exactly what they do. But, um, you know, and Christian, too. You know, I don't know if you knew this. I, I learned this in a Bible study not too long ago. I'm a Christian. Um, I'm a Jew for Jesus. Um, and, um... And I'm gay. And, and then you can be. Not a problem. Anyway, um, I heard that, you know, Christian um, in, in Greek means little Christ, which sounds like a nice thing, but actually was a bad word. You know, in Antioch, they were saying, oh, look at the little Christ. Look at the little Christ. And then they were persecuting them and, like, throwing them to lions or, or, or fire or something. And, and so it was a bad word, but now it's a good word, you know. Being a Christian is a wonderful thing. It's a great word. You know, well, not everyone thinks it's a good word, whatever. But, um, you know, so I understand some words can be reclaimed, but not this word. Oh, no, 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 no. This is a bad word, okay? And I'm saying it, you know, because people don't understand the sort of, like, like threat they're under, you know, by, 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 by using this word, you are like revealing that you are so internally oppressed. And I know, you know, I used to be in the ex-gay world. Yes, I tried to de-gay myself, as some say. I was a former homosexual. I've since, you know, re-gayed. <laughs> and, um, you know, I remember how oppressive those people were. They would, like, force theories on you. They would force words on you. And so because, you know, I know how hard... I, so, bottom line, I demand... I absolutely demand that you never use the word queer again, you know, because we're a very open society and we're, you know, we're a very good, you know, group of LGBT, whatever, gay people, you know what I mean? And so I'm going to become the queer police. If I see you using the word queer on your blog, you know, in an interview, wherever, I'm going to, I'm going to get on you, you know? 
because I want you to be free and happy like you know I am because I'm gay alright so see that wasn't so hard alright I'm just I just want to help you that's all it is okay Me vuelves loco